Okay. Your person out here has a lot of hope and faith, okay, that things can still work out. They feel things can still be salvageable, okay. They still want a bright future with you. They're still looking to have a future with you. They want to rush in. They want to talk to you. But for some, I feel that they're still holding on to you. You feel they're over and done with. They're not. Uh, there's a very strong connection that they feel for you, all right? And there's a lot of love here from this, from their side. I feel for a lot of you, there's no communication between you both. This person wants to rush in and communicate. They need answers. You, on the other hand here, I feel you're very focused on yourself, your growth, your connection. For a lot of you, you may still want to work out the connection, but you're going to be very patient about it, okay? Because you want a long-term solution to this connection. And if it's not going to work out, then you're ready to move on and cut this person off. But you do feel a strong connection to this person is what I'm getting. Okay. So this person wants a new beginning with you guys. They do. All right. They want to collaborate. They want to put in teamwork. This, this time around here, this person wants to collaborate with you. Okay. They want to get to know you better. They want to know how they can make this relationship work out better here. But they want to do it, like I said, with the temperance on your side and temperance on their side. Okay. They don't want no drama. Okay. They want to do it very slow and steady. And both of you are looking at... Uh, you know, it's like both of you are coming off as, you know, wanting to take things very, very slow so that you all can get it correct this time around here. They know that they got to put in all their strength. You know, they put in, they need to put in all their courage and their best foot forward to get this connection, to get this new beginning love with you. But that's what they want. They want a new beginning in love with you. They want to restart this connection out here because they haven't let go of the connection as yet. You, on the other hand here, even though this is a connection that brings you a lot of happiness, stability, security, um, no, even though this connection brings you a lot of happiness out here, I feel you are somewhere, somehow you want balance, okay? And I feel for a lot of you, you have either cut cords with this person or you are on the verge of cutting cords with this person because your focus is yourself. Your focus is like being very practical, being very grounded about the entire thing because this is giving you sleepless nights, all right? You want to get out of your head. You no longer want to be in that place of mind where this person is, you know, uh, constantly a part of your fear, constantly a part of your thoughts. Okay, you're somewhere somehow coming off as obsessing about this person out here. All right. But I still want to clarify. Clarify the King of Pentacles. I think you're very focused on yourself. Your money, your goals. Okay. And you're just being very practical and grounded. See, that's what I said. You are ready. You're disconnecting from this person out here because you're just being very cold. You're being very cold, very uh, stoic. You're being very head over heart when it comes to this person out here. Because this person out here is giving you sleepless nights. And you don't want this to be a part of a sleepless nights. You don't. You want to sleep better. You want to release this worry that has been created with this person in your life out here. Which is why I said, you are focusing on yourself, okay? You are uh, very focused on your career, your goals, your own stability. You're being very pragmatic this time around here. And you're just being very practical. Honestly, you're being very practical right now. Uh, clap for the justice. Yeah. Yeah, like I said... There's a lot of disappointment, okay? There's a lot of disappointment coming from this person's side. Like I said, for a lot of you, you're cutting cords with this person out here and choosing to move towards new love or just choosing to focus on yourself. For the others of you, you may want a new beginning in love with this person out here, but I don't think that is your agenda. That's not your priority. You want fair. You want something fair. You want something balanced, all right? And if it comes in, it comes in. If it doesn't, you're okay on that uh, part and you're just okay to move on, okay? Because this has created a lot of disappointment here. This person's been pretty disappointing, okay, in your life here. And there's a lot of regret and remorse. You feel something's just over and done with only because this person's taking their own time. Only because they're taking their own time. Tell me, why is the strength card here? <clears throat> why is the strength here? They know that it's going to take a lot of courage. It's going to take their full strength, inner strength to come towards you and tame the situation with a lot of, uh, you know. Um, oh my God. Just wants it in the cards. Look at the strength. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. So even though, like, see, like I said, right, they know that it's going to take a lot of strength out here. So they're being very cold too. They're being very logical too. Both of y'all are holding on to that masculine energy. Both of y'all are holding on to that logical sense, logical approach to this connection out here, okay? Your logical approach to this connection is like, you know what, I can't do this anymore and I need to cut you off. Their logical approach towards you is like, you know what, get my shit together. I need to get my shit together. If I want Aquarius back, this is how I need to strategize things. And I think that's their strategy. Their strategy is to, although you are on their mind a lot, okay, they've been thinking about you a lot out here, they still want a future with you. And the way they want to come towards you is slow and steady. So there is no impulsive moves from their side, which is why we have the temperance out here. All right. Um... Let's see, what is the Eight of Pentacles? I wonder what you're working on. I think that's working on yourself, okay? But let's see, what's the Eight of Pentacles? What's the Eight of Pentacles? Yeah. So for a lot of you, you guys are in two minds, okay? About whether you want to give this connection another chance or whether you want to completely move on out here. Because you're dealing with someone out here who's a player, right? Who's probably in and out of your life, you know, very easy come, easy go. Someone out here who likes to keep their options open. Someone out here who's very non-committal out here. So you're in two minds, okay? You're constantly juggling the idea about whether you want to still put in the work in this connection or do you want to just completely, you know, uh, release this uh, choice and move forward, which is why you're taking your own time with the temperance, all right? <coughs> uh <coughs> I feel this person out here, even though they walked away from this connection, all right, even though they disconnected from this connection, all right, I feel that this person here still wants to stay emotionally detached. I feel for a lot of you, more than staying detached, I feel this person out here wants to make you an offer, okay, but they're still living in a lot of remorse, living in a lot of regret. The regret that you have moved on from, they're still in that regret. They still feel that something could be a missed opportunity. They still feel that you may not take them back. They still have the fear of getting hurt or the fear of being rejected the way they rejected you. Okay. So I feel there is still no offer from this person's side out here. I feel they have a lot of regret about walking away from you. Okay. But right now in their actions out here, they're trying their best to attract you back into their life. This person wants long term with you. They see you as abundant. They see you as someone that they want marriage with. They want commitment with. Okay. But they're too scared. Too scared to make that move towards you. Let's clarify this person. Clarify the four of cups. Clarify the four of cups. Clarify the four of cups. See, they want to make you an offer here. They want a new beginning with you, a promising new beginning with you. And they're pretty clear about it. But I feel for a lot of you here, <coughs> this person has that fear, like I said, that you may just completely cut them off or you're just not interested in investing into them. There is a potential here where things can start off, you know, uh, in a very practical way. Where there can be things which moving forward can lead to a lot of stability, security and commitment, even probably marriage out here. But I feel the only thing they fear is that you may cut them off and you may be in that energy. See, Queen of Swords out here, Queen of Swords out here. They feel you're in that energy where you're just not interested in attending to them or you're just not interested in entertaining any bullshit. This is what they fear the most. They fear your, the, you rejecting them and you cutting them out from their life for good. That's what they're so scared of. Fly for the uh, Eight of Cups. Fly for the Eight of Cups. They want to leave a situation that they weren't happy in and they want to come towards you. What's the Eight of Cups? Yeah. This person out here, uh, like I said, now for a lot of you, for a lot of you, I feel this person out here is ending something and coming towards you. You know, Aquarius, maybe this person out here with the Queen of Wands out here, there is a third party situation or could be a third party situation here. I'm getting very strongly. And this person out here was at a crossroads all this while, okay? Like I said, this person here was not being able to make a choice, not being able to make a decision about what they want to do. But finally, they know that they need to leave a certain place in order to come towards you, okay? And that's what they're doing, Aquarius. They are ready to let something go. They probably, for a lot of you, this person chose someone else over you, okay? 
and they probably walked away because they thought the grass was green on the other side but now this person out here is walking towards you all right they're leaving a situation that was not emotionally fulfilling them out here most probably it is with another fire sign aries leo sagittarius anyways don't get hung up on the uh, zodiac signs but i'm getting here that there could be a third person out here which they had to choose you between and they weren't making a choice all this while but now they're finally making a choice okay they see the reality for what it is they're ready to address the issue ready to uh, face the consequences and they're ending something the moment they end that they're coming towards you here okay but before they come towards you they're ending things but what is on their mind is you that they want you they know that you're the one that they want you on the other hand my friend you are at a crossroads okay i feel for a lot of you what means what is the most important to you is happiness you are enlightened you are very happy where you are and for a lot of you you want a new beginning on your own with a lot of clarity and maybe a lot of you are have that clarity and you're just in that very um positive state of mind which is beautiful okay let's clarify the two of wands but there is still some kind of decision that we need to make what's the two of wands a lot of you haven't completely let this person go but you're very close to letting this person go what's the two of wands that's the choice that is needed to be made what's the two of wands Yeah. So I'm getting here that uh, you are at a crossroads about thinking. Do you you may still want to collaborate with this person. You may still want to take things to the next level with this person. But you're contradicted. You are not sure about whether you should take that leap of faith with this person, okay? And go ahead and try this out another time, one more time. I don't know how many times you've tried this out with this person out here. Or should you just completely dump this person and walk away towards a new direction? Yeah, that's what I'm getting here for a lot of you. That's the only problem you'll have. Uh, you, you know, I'm not seeing that a lot of you have probably moved on. I feel you are living your life, you know. You are living your life, Aquarius. But you still have this person at the back of your mind. You still do. Okay, life of the sun. <clears throat> I want to know what the sun is about. Yeah, you know that this person makes you very happy, Aquarius. Like I said, you're still manifesting this person directly, indirectly. You're still attracting this person back into your life. This is a connection that can't be broken. This is a very strong soulmate connection. You love them, they love you. You know that, they know that. Two of cups, two of cups out here. We can't deny this connection. But um. somehow somehow you don't want to make a choice which is based on your emotions so what you're doing is for right now you're going to leave things where it is and just focus on the positive aspects of the relationship or just focus on the positive of uh you know just focus on positivity is what i'm getting here all right you're just being happy you're no longer wanting to face any kind of depression and sadness only because things are not working out with this person it's like you're letting things go letting things flow all right and you have a lot of faith that there will be a new beginning between you both here or otherwise just on your own with a lot of clarity with a lot of enlightenment out here okay so that's what i have for you queries that was a beautiful reading i hope this reading resonates do leave your comments below like share subscribe and i'll see you next time bye bye